We, we can start. First one to Article 9, Section 16 of the Constitution of the Federates of California and to Title 3, Section 2 of the Code of the Federated States of Micronesia. And as set forth, the official rules of procedure of the Congress. For the 21st Congress of Micronesia, special session, which is being held remotely due to the circumstances caused by the COVID-19 to order. May we all bow our heads for a moment of silent prayer. Senator Aritos. Yes. Senator Christian. Senator Figueroa. Yes. Senator Coland. Yes. Lolita Harper. Still crying here in Guam. Senator Conman. Hey. Vice Speaker Moses, Senator Ned, Senator Pollack. Yes. Senator Perman, Senator Romolo, Senator Orsmal. Senator Wally. Yes. Speaker Summer. Yes. Mr. Speaker, uh, 12 members are present. Okay, we do have a quorum to transact business. Order is subject to call the chair. ID, what, what's wrong? There is an ego, echo coming out. Let's continue. Congress is back in session. Uh, item four is appointment of committee to wait on the president. I think we're kind of uh, enjoying our colleagues from Pompeii doing the 
<laughs> coming into uh, weight, weight on the president. So I will also appoint them again. And of course, vice uh, speaker will continue to chair that uh, coming to weight on the president. So Vice, uh, uh, can you please uh, consult with the president and vice president on time and uh, place of your uh, <coughs> meeting? Thank you. Okay, next item, Chipperd. Uh, Mr. Speaker, item five, presidential communications. When receipt of numbers 21-337 through 21-376. Okay, assign those uh, communications, Chipperd. Speaker, po speaker, point of privilege. Uh, state your point, uh, Chairman uh, Berman. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Good morning to you and members. Speaker, I rise on a point of privilege for the FSM members of the FSM national government to recognize the president of our president, His Excellency David W. Panuelo. Please, let's give him a round of applause. The Honorable Yeshua George, Vice President of this nation. Let's please give him a round of applause. I'm not gonna go one by one on all the members, but let's give a round of applause to the cabinet members. Mr. Speaker, we have uh, the ambassador of US, Carmen G. Cantor, that is actually also in our um, hearing room today or the session as uh, she's accompanied by one of her staff. Let us please give her a round of applause. And, um, and all of those that is actually observing our session from far away to Pompeii, the States. Let's all give them a round of applause. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, uh, German Perman, for introducing our uh, Excellency President Banuelo and his, the Honorable uh, Vice Speaker I and mean, Vice President uh, <coughs> George, and of course uh, their cabinet members who are with us, uh, and of course special uh, greetings and uh, welcome to Ambassador Candor and the staff. We can I cannot really recognize them; they're out there. But uh, thank you for joining us uh, in the opening of our. Uh, session, special session uh, this morning. Uh, any other point of uh, privilege? If none, let's move on to the next item, Gifford. Uh, we we'll move down to item six, Mrs. Speaker, FSM Supreme Court communications. We in receipt of numbers 21-13 through 21-16. Thank you, assign those papers. Uh, we've been worried that our uh, uh, Supreme Court uh, was out of business because of this uh, COVID-19, but thankfully they're still uh, doing works. Okay, next item. Item seven, member communications. There are none, Mrs. Speaker. Item eight, departmental communications when receipt of two and their numbers uh, 21-74 and 21-75. Okay, assign those, uh, Chief Kirk, uh, members. Uh, I hope we can take a look at the first. It's uh, regarding our uh, small FSM trust fund. Uh, seems like it's recovering. Okay, next item. Mr. Speaker, item nine, agency or governmental authority communications when receipt of number 21-64. Okay, assign that to Kirk. Next item. Item 10, state communications when receipt of numbers 21-38. Through number 21-41. Oh, so I signed those, uh, Jeff Burke. Uh, ah, it seems like Pompey State is, uh, Pompey State legislature is busy. Uh, 
But I like that uh, last one. Reminds me of that story of the 10 people. All the others just went back and didn't come back. Only one came back and say thank you. <clears throat> so remember that, uh, vice, vice, vice Speaker, huh, Moses? Okay, next item. Item 11, Mr. Speaker, State Supreme Court communications. Uh, there are none. Uh, item 12, municipal or town communications, also none. Item uh, Mr. Speaker, on our paper, um, and foreign the, government coming. Short resistance with all the chair. Okay. Congress is back in session. Uh, item 13, Chief Clerk. Item 13, foreign government communications. None, Mr. Speaker. Okay. Uh, order of the day, item 14. Uh, item 14, standing committee reports, none, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item 15, special committee reports, also none. Next item. Item 16, assignment of measures and communications. We have a referral sheet number 21-90. Okay, Chairman uh, and members of the committees, uh, uh, review that for your planning purposes. Next item. Item 17 and finished business. None, Mrs. Speaker. Okay, uh, next item. Your calendar on item 18. There are none, Mrs. Speaker. Resolution calendar. Item 19, resolution calendar, also none. Okay, introduction of bills and resolutions. If you have any measure to introduce, pass them on to Chief Clerk. Next item, 21. Miscellaneous communications on item 21. We have uh, one and it's number 21-28. Okay, I'll sign that Chief Clerk. Next item, miscellaneous business. Business. Gentlemen, do you have any miscellaneous business? Okay, uh, floor leader Harbor. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, ask whether uh, uh, attorney uh, Alec Jackson is on the island of Bond Bay or still in Coach Ride? The reason why I'm asking because uh, I was expecting to introduce a bill today, but I believe it's not uh, drafted yet. Shorter is subject to call the chair. So, thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's go back. You can continue, uh, floor. Uh, it's back in session. Uh, continue, uh, floor leader Harper, you still have the floor? Uh, yes, uh, speaker, but uh, I would like to uh, extend my apology if what I'm going to say may be too advanced. Uh, you know, I've been uh, thinking of asking 
Chairman Oweli and uh, Chairman Figuier. Well, let's give a round of applause to the cabinet members. Mr. Speaker, we have uh, the ambassador of U.S. Carmen G. Cantor that is actually also in our um, hearing room today or the session. Uh, she's accompanied by one of our staff. Let us please give her a round of applause. You really uh, get yourself uh, of the states and national government and other governmental entities. But uh, according to Wally, uh, you know, he's willing to accommodate uh, the request this uh, current fiscal year. Uh, maybe starting October. So I would kindly ask all members to toss uh, that. Willy, Chairman Willy, toss that, then I would uh, really ask that we all support uh, with the blessing of that. Then I would uh, really ask that we all support uh, with the blessing of the uh, uh, Committee on uh, Ways and... Uh, Chairman Rosimel, you just joined us. You missed... The
Conference is back in session. Uh, any other miscellaneous business? Speaker. Oh, who's that? Thank you. Speaker, Senator Colin. Okay, General Colin, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, greeting to my uh, uh, good vice, uh, good president and my good vice president, uh, and as well as all the members and whoever observing our session this morning. Mr. Speaker, the uh, miscellaneous that I just need to uh, raise in regards to all the citizens of uh, Chuk that they were crying out for the stimulus funds. Uh, some of them still uh, are waiting for their uh, assistance on that. And I just wanted to raise this one because we need to consider and take action immediately. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chairman Colin, for that. I know uh, many of our citizens uh, across the nation uh, are uh, asking for the help of our uh, <coughs> national government. So uh, I understand Preston has submitted something uh, to uh, see if they can address that uh, concern. And let's hope that uh, uh, Congress will uh, find it uh, <coughs> reasonable to act on the, some of those requests by the president. Okay. Any other point of, uh, I mean, uh, miscellaneous business? If none, short readers, subject to call the chair. Let's go back. Congress is back in session. Uh, we're still on the miscellaneous business uh, item. If there is no further business on that uh, item, then let's go down to announcements. Uh, let's begin with uh, Chairman Mollet. Announcement. External affairs. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chairman Mollet. Chairman Figuer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I just want to remind members of your committee of what is in the meeting tomorrow. Okay. Uh, can you please just repeat that, that the last part within the uh, before? Yeah, ways and means. Uh, reminding members of the uh, ways and means public hearing tomorrow morning. Okay. And I have to check the time and uh, venue. Members of Ways and Means Committee, we have a meeting tomorrow morning. Uh, check the time and place with the staff. <clears throat> All right, uh, Chairman Ned. Thank you, Speaker. No announcement. Okay, Chairman Berman. Uh, to all members, please uh, check your email. I believe that our legal counsel uh, sent an email regarding the uh, our resolution for the uh, pandemic, the COVID-19. Please to check your email. Anything you wanted to add or discuss about so we can uh, finish it up. It's a five-day session, so if we can address that. Resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, uh, Chairman Berman. That's uh, uh, true. Uh, all members uh, take a look, review the draft uh, amendments to the uh, declaration, see what you can uh, add and uh, delete. Okay. Uh, Chairman uh, Coleman, uh, Coolen. Chairman Coolen. Thank you very much, Speaker. Uh, Soji, uh, announcement. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chairman Coleman. Chairman Coleman. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I, I ask member of your uh, special committee on climate change and environment issues if we can stay back for five minutes after today's session. Thank you. Okay. Then you'll have to come after the uh, main uh, sit back for us. Okay, uh, German, uh, Resimo. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I would just encourage members of your committee on uh, education to uh, check their email and hopefully find uh, 
copy of uh, a draft report from the legal staff, uh, Catherine. Uh, please uh, mark uh, your comments uh, on it. And uh, Wednesday, we'll uh, uh, get together and uh, uh, see if we, there, there are changes that we need to make. So uh, take a look at the draft report and make your uh, comments uh, so we can uh, finalize before the September session. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you, uh, Chairman uh, Rosamal. Okay, members of the Education Committee, take note, uh, review that report, uh, budget report uh, for uh, education portion and make comments uh, as you uh, see fit and submit them to Chairman and our uh, staff. Okay, thank you for that. Oh, All right. point of privilege, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, state your point, uh, Chairman uh, Kornman. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. With all due respect to uh, members of your special committee, may I kindly withdraw my, uh, my request? Uh, I just realized that I have an appointment already set at uh, right after our meeting today. So... <laughs> Can we please reschedule it to tomorrow after session? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chairman Kuhlman. Well, you're the chairman. You make the call. That's your decision. So your uh, announcement is, is withdrawn. Uh, but that's good because uh, we will be meeting the entire uh, membership. Just uh, sit back for a few minutes before we send off uh, our uh, committee to wait to see the president, OK? All right, uh, Vice Speaker Moses and as chairman of uh, also the committee to wait. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good morning to you, members, and uh, my respects to President, Vice President, and those all those who are observing. Uh, I have consulted with the President, and we have agreed to meet tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning, Ponte time. So that's my announcement, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, uh, Vice Speaker Moses, and as chairman of the committee to wait uh, tomorrow at uh, 9, uh, one pay time. Uh, I assume uh, the person is going to be with the, at the president's office. Okay, so uh, your members uh, should uh, take note of that. Okay, uh, Senator Palik. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, Wang in announcement. That's short tray. Short tray announcement. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Senator Parikh. Senator uh, Aridos, any announcement? Thank, huh? thank you, Speaker. No announcement. Okay. Uh, short recess, subject to call of the chair. Let's go back. Conference back in session. Uh, I do have a short announcement uh, to our members who are present. Uh, uh, if we can have a short uh, sit back uh, so we can uh, plan uh, our uh, work for the next uh, four days. Uh, it's a five day session, so we need to uh, plan it well, make good use of the time. And I just want to take this time to once again uh, thank uh, our uh, good president and good uh, vice president for joining us. We thank you for joining us. We'll do what we can. To, uh, we will consider your request for supplemental and it's up to uh, Congress, of course, and we will uh, see what we can do. And we thank our uh, good ambassador from the United States and uh, the staff for joining us. We thank you very much. Uh, uh, it's not much of a meeting like we used to have in the chamber. Uh, we would have welcomed you, uh, you know, 
very well in our chamber, but this time it's uh, like this. And I don't know how long it's going to be like this. And we will uh, make sure uh, we do what we can to uh, uh, continue to make uh, the FSM uh, COVID-19 free. And with your help, we've been very thankful for that with the help of the, your government in giving us uh, what can support our economy and our uh, uh, citizens uh, <clears throat> here and abroad. So thank you very much. Uh, if there is no uh, further business uh, in announcement, floor leader Harbour. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Before I make my uh, usual motion, uh, I'd like to, first of all, uh, make myself clear uh, as to the uh, meeting of Voice and Means Committee, because I saw a communication from Chief Clerk that there would be one on Wednesday, but now German just announced that there will be one uh, uh, tomorrow. So, uh, German always said, Miss, can you clarify uh, which one we should call with, whether to, tomorrow or Wednesday? German, uh, figure? Care to? Uh... <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, sorry. My apologies. It's 11 o'clock. Okay, thank yeah, you. Thank speaker. you, thank speaker. You, speaker. Uh, in addition to that, Mr. Speaker, I want to ask Chairman uh, Berman uh, if we have uh, a proposed amendment to the declaration of emergency, uh, whom should we address our proposed amendment? To you as Chairman of that committee or to our attorney, Stephanie? Yes, uh, yes, address to me. Thank you, uh, Floor. Okay, thank you. Uh, speaker, before I uh, make my motion uh, for uh, recess, uh, I think Colin was calling, so I, I would like to. Can give you him the floor. for a short moment? Okay, the floor has been yelled to you, uh, Chairman Colin. Thank you, Speaker. I just need, uh, I follow suit with the uh, floor leader that the uh, chairman figure was requesting the allocated time for DCNI to take their uh, time. That's Wednesday. So, that's tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, let's figure it out during our uh, uh, sit back and we can uh, talk about that further. Okay, uh, floor leader, make your motion. Floor leader, short recess subject to call of the chair. <coughs> what happened to floor? He, he froze. They oh. already stands in recess. <laughs> what happened? COVID-19. Chairman Berman, Congress is back in session uh, because of the difficulty with uh, yeah. uh, Guam. Uh, Chairman Berman, you have the honor. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, Speaker. I motion to stand in recess till Speaker time tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So move, Mr. Speaker. Any second? Second. It has been moved and seconded. Uh, Congress stand in recess until tomorrow at 10 in the morning, troop time. Those in favor say yes. Opposed no. Good. And carry. Congress now stands in recess at 10 in the morning, uh, troop time.